Hey guys, welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry. Um, I literally just finished the recording like a minute ago. I just set up everything again because, um, well, since my last time, I had was the um, photographer. So I really wanna I wanna get back into like the subtle subtle horrors that are happening as I figure out what's going on. Last time we just had like another regular day at school of me playing a really intense game of like Old Bachelor and losing it. Um, and apparently I think me and Drew like a penis on my face or something. So we'll see what what happens. Okay. Um, so as soon as the club activities were finished, Rena flew off. Probably so she could dig out that cute Colonel Sanders that she wasn't able to take home yesterday. Doesn't wouldn't it look weird to the rest of the town that Mina is like walking around with like a Colonel Sanders? And question: If something is happening there, won't people know that it's from the dump pile where apparently shit went down? So they'd know she was there. Maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself, but anyway. So today, it was just me and, and me walking home together. A rather rare occurrence. A happy one. A mouse named Treasure, huh? The guys throwing it away probably never thought in their wildest dreams that Rena would be grateful to them. Mound of Treasure, meaning that damn construction site from before? Oh right, Rena would probably tell me. The murder by dismember- Oh yes! Here we go, this is what I wanted. The murder by dismemberment. Wait, turn off the light. It's eight, uh, eight fifty-five, almost nine o'clock here. All oh, right, Mian will probably tell me the murder by dismemberment that seemed to have happened there, over there, you know, at the dam construction site. Oh fuck, fuck, no. <laughs> okay, oh that was just the music. Oh, that was just the music pausing. Okay, did something happen there, long ago? Something sure did. A grand battle. There were sit-ins and demonstrations. Oh, okay. Got our hopes up. The, the, it was a bit different from what I wanted to hear, but I decided to listen to it just the same. It was our land that was going to be sunk into the dam reservoir. Reservoir. I would have fought as well, probably. The government guys were really adamant about it, acting all big and full of themselves. Since they figured out that they couldn't couldn't sell it with money, they did a bunch of nasty stuff. They were, they were nasty guys. Mina spoke excitedly, as if the whole thing happened right in front of her eyes. I'm amazed you guys won. You're facing the federal government, right? Of Japan. The mayor and prominent figures in the village all signed petitions. They went to Tokyo and struck deals with legislators. And as a result, the development plan was retracted. Impressive, Hina Mazawa. It was our complete victory. <laughs> There wasn't any violence, was there? Like assaults? Or murders? Oh shit, getting goosebumps! Oh. <laughs> None. She probably cut me off. Same as Rena had. Curious. Her words signaled the end of discussion. Tomotake san said one arm wasn't found in the incident. I thought. That murder by dismemberment had occurred, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, you haven't seen the newspaper yet. My curiosity unsated, I sighed de dejectedly inside. Later, see you tomorrow, Punch Chan. You can't wash that off until you get home, got it? I got it, I won't wash the penis off my face. Held back by her laughter while stealing glasses at my face. I wonder what kind of nasty doodles they drew. I think I do know. Damn you, man. You shall rue this day. After all that ever been reserved, I'm going to slap it on. Yeah, you slap it on, Punchy. <laughs> all over your face so you won't be able to take it off, even with a scouring pad. Oof, Punchy's got uh, dirty thoughts. Upon arriving home, I ran straight into her mom, embarrassing myself yet again. Oh god, mom, no! I swear I didn't have a penis on my face. It's a rocket. The mood I'd come home was already on edge. It was not an uncommon thing in our family. 
Whenever Dad can come up with a good idea, it always ends up like this. Oh no. He stomps around the house with his arms crossed. Mom looks right into my ear. Come on, Pachi. Dad, he's in a bit of a run right now, so don't bother him, okay? He can't come up with a new idea? It's because the deadlines are so close together this time. Your dad needs time to recharge or he doesn't work as well. Dad's paintings feed our entire family. Wow, Dad's pretty good then. If he runs out of ideas, then it's the end of the May Barras. You've never gone hungry before. Could it be that my dad is a master painter? Apparently! Could afford to build a house, although I guess in the country it's not that much. Would it be easier to get an idea of taking a walk outside rather than wandering around the house? The theme of this piece this time is in the household. Oh. So it seems your dad wants to use the house as a motif. That's quite a bothersome motif. Punchy, pick up your room. It looks terrible. S sorry, I'll clean it up later. Oh, come on. Please don't use my room as a motif. Punchy, this is some time before dinner. So please go take a walk up back or something. His bad mood is only temporary. As soon as he gets an idea, his move improves and he starts humming. Until then, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go to just go take a walk so I don't aggravate him further. <laughs> yeah, you have a way out from making your parents mad. Go along with that. Well, I guess I will then. Alright, taking a walk, make my way downtown, walking fast. I said I was going to take a walk, but I didn't have any particular destination in mind. I just needed to kill some time. I got on my bike and pondered where to go. Oh no. I could just go over at the bookstore, but it would take about an hour by a bike to get to town. Oof. It'd be dark by the time I get back, so I didn't want to go unless I had to. There was a night here and he was not creeping me out. Seriously, dude. When I first moved into a suburb like area, man, I can't get over the quietness. If me and Stoke ever found out about that, smi I smiled wryly. Oh yeah. Marina was probably still at the mountain of treasure. The, no, don't go there, man. The damn construction site. The excavation of Colonel Tannis was probably taking her a while. It wouldn't be so bad to have her only one. She might return the favor next time we have club activities. With a little bit of self-interest in mind, I set off towards the damn construction site. Oh no. Oh no. Tomotaki-san might be there as well. The only personal information about the incident that both Rina and me and denied knowing anything about. If I met him again, I'd like to ask him for more details. To ask, was there really dismemberment here in Hinamazawa? That was my real intention. And I'm going. I can't believe we walked to this before, just me and Rina. This is long. I think I'm here, right? Yep, here I am. I spotted Rina struggling up on the slope with a garbage pile. It looked like Colonel Sanders was lodged in there pretty firmly. It didn't look like Rena would be able to excav excavate him by herself. Realizing that Togis Thomas Takesan wasn't around, I began climbing up the slope unsteadily. Hey Rena, looks like you're working up, working up a sweat. Whoa, 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 Pachi kun What brings you to a place like this? A place like this, huh? I see. She was aware of it, at least. I see the signal for emergency assistance at the accident site. Where is the injured party? Huh? Huh? Accident? Huh? But, the, but there was a boy that Colonel Sanders was buried alive in the trash pile. Huh? Oh, that. You scared me. Don't fight me like that, punchy coon. I was just kidding. I thought you might be struggling by yourself, so I came out to help you. You came for me? Well, I filled my quota for today. If I don't see Rena blush at least once a day, then I might get him a daily nutritional intake. Oh, these lovebirds. Just kidding, you're embarrassing me now. So, huh? What part was a joke? What part was it? I just ignored her bewilderment. Oh. Okay, now move out of the way. So, where is Colonel Sanders? Oh, sorry. Can't you see him in that camp? He's really buried in there. The Colonel Sanders was sideways, surrounded by boards of the construction materials, like they were caging him inside. According to Rena, it wasn't like this yesterday. 
Seems as though another illegal dumper came yesterday. Dumped again, and now he's buried like this. Oh, poor Rina. This is what she's really trying. God. Oh, every time I think back about when she stopped talking and like the music's cut off. Oh, he'll big eyes scare me so much. You can try to with this pile all by yourself? With those scrawny arms? Look at those tiny arms. Even though my last picture was the one picture of her was with the guns. There's no way she would be able to do that with her slender arms. But Colonel Sanders, so cute. There's a chain on the Colonel Sanders at the store. This one though, I should be able to take this one home. How? If Rina gave up on this to Colonel Sanders, she'll probably start devising a plan to steal the one in front of the store. As Rina's guardian, I won't allow her to sully her hands with crime. Oh, Alright. Out of the way. I'll do it. Rina blushed again, but this time, I left it alone. The pile was enormous. Also, the more days wasted, the more likely another illegal dumper would occur. Dumping would occur. Oof. Gross. If it got buried any deeper, there would be nothing that could be done. Pudgy Gun, I'll hop on too. Let me help. You just get in the way, so stay back. Play, <laughs> jeez. Oh my gosh. Look at, listen to me go. Pulling out scraps, bending them, tossing them aside. Hulu became covered in sweat and dust. Damn. You go, Punchy. Flying objects drew beautiful arcs across the twilight sky, one after another. Sorry guys, a little dry, just took some water. Took some water, drank some water. Lumber, timber, plywood. Damn it! No matter how much I threw out, there was still more. Even though I could see Colonel Sanders right there. After Grant standing like that in front of Rena, I felt frantic because of how, how little I had progressed. If I was going to do this seriously, I'd need an axe or a saw or something. That's enough, Punchy Coon. You're so sweaty. You don't have to try so hard. I'm just doing it for you, Rena. Don't worry about it. Rena began sputtering and turning, turned beat red. Ah, uh, whoops. I meant to say I was trying my best so to keep her away from being a criminal. Aw, uh, oh well. Aw, oh, I'm cutie. I guess I just need a break. This is pretty tough. I sprawled on my back across the, over the grassy slope. I'm so sorry. You're covered in sweat. Rita patted her handkerchief against my forehead. It felt pretty nice. Uh, um, well, wait here a minute, okay? My house is pretty close. I'll bring you some barley tea, okay? <clears throat> Leaving the handkerchief on my forehead, Rena took off running. Ah, the cries of the Higurashi! Ah, gently cooled the air. After I was certain that Reno was gone, I picked up myself and headed straight towards what I discovered earlier. Oh, what I... There's a garbage pile of magazines and newspapers bound up in twine. Unless I'm mistaken, I believe it was around here. There it was. Oh no, music stopped! Oh, okay. There was... There, they were bound stacks of not so reputable tabloids. They were stacked chronologically, going back quite a few years. Oh no! Oh, creepy music, okay. It was quite a disturbing incident. Oh. Okay. It seems they haven't been able to find one arms, you see. If it was just as Thomas satake san said, then undoubtedly there would be mention of the murder. These are troubled times. There is no end to these sickening incidents. There is a large part of society drawn in by those incidents as well. So it had to be recorded. Somewhere. I unfastened the packages and opened the range of pages carefully, looking over at the table of contents. Not here. Oh god, I really want to turn on the light. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, not here. Next one. Not here. Next one. Dude, I'm taking too long. She's gonna come back. Oh god, okay. Okay, okay. Um, it was such a search since I didn't know what had happened. I didn't know who the per per perpetrator or the victim was either. I only knew what happened here. I looked up every so often, checking to see if Freena had come back or not. I wouldn't want her to see me gawking at Dirty Magazine. But it wasn't... It, it wasn't that, just that. Both Rina and Mian said they didn't know. But it had happened, without a doubt. As long as Tomotake-san was a line. 
I mean, normally I'd say like, oh, he's just pulling my leg, but you can't deny this music. <laughs> then if both Rina and Mian... Ah, yeah, there it was. Ah, yeah, there was. If they just said that, then I wouldn't have gotten so hung up, so hung up on it. An incident that neither Rina nor Mian wished to talk about. Tried to uncover it, as after they tried to conceal it out of good intentions, they that made me feel like I was acting against my friends. Oh God, no! Oh no! Light, light, do I want? Oh God! Okay, I, oh, I had to turn it on, guys. I'm really freaked out. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't realize I get so scared. He was a damn worker, lynching, murder by dismemberment. Here it is. Oh fuck! The feature art was in the back as it seemed there was a photograph in the colored pages on the front the pages of the article the pages of the featured article were stuck together and weren't easy to open Mina could return any moment feeling rushed I gave up and opened the photography page the police investigators were carrying a body bag the newspaper reporters all were all bathing it in bathing it in camera flashes the images were blurry and hard to understand but I could definitely make out the headlines a tragic nightmare at the Hinamazawa construction site Oof, lynching and murder, dismemberment. The victim was the site foreman. He assaulted his assailants daily with an explosive backlash from his daily actions. It's a horrible image to, to see the site foreman as it happened. It really did happen. It seemed the details were on the next page. No, no, get out of there. No, no, no. Punchy, get out of there. <laughs> I turned the page while pausing. On it was. Oh god! Oh god, okay. The assailants butchered the victim's body with hatches and pickaxes. They used an axe to split the cadaver into six pieces the head, arms, legs, and torso. I could understand just from the headline that it was just too terrible an incident. Normally, a lynching is just an assault and murder, right? Dismemberment with hatches and pickaxes? That wasn't a lynching. It was a merciless killing to the letter. A brutal murder. Done by a group of people. Okay, you know. Fucking. Rena's gonna be. Or as soon as we turn around, there she is. With hatches. With pickaxes. With an axe. Ah! Eek, so sorry, did I start you? Did I start you? Oh, God. Why does she have an axe? Why is there no music? Okay. We didn't drop the axe she was holding onto the grass after being startled by my voice. But you can, you see, earlier, yeah, you said it would help you if you had an axe, didn't you? So, so there, I bought an axe for you from the shed. Rina fluttered her arms in a panic, continuing to explain and apologize. It seemed I'd been glaring at her pretty intensely. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess my reaction was a bit overboard. No, I'm sorry as well. I'm sorry. Night was drawing close. I was pretty worn out, and it wouldn't hurt to to do the rest tomorrow. Doesn't look doesn't look like we can break the last beam without an axe. You brought it after all. I'll have to borrow it tomorrow, all right? Okay. Why do you look so glum? Tomorrow, we, tomorrow we'll be digging our Colonel Sanders, right? Oh, Punchy, how are you able to keep your cool after this? You're right. <laughs> I really want to take Colonel Sanders home soon. We both knew it was useless to apologize any more after that, any more than that. I quenched my thirst with the barley tea Mina brought and wiped off my sweat that had gone cold, now, go, now gone cold. We took the path to head home. I felt quite, quite guilty about the tablet wrapped up in my jacket. Oh god. She, I, she had to see me reading it. Okay guys, oh, this is where this is where we wanted to be when it ended last episode, so the fact that I just finished it, man. Okay, so we're gonna stop there, guys, because my. Oh, but I got new tips! Um, we'll check this out in the beginning of my next video. Um, hopefully, tomorrow. Achievement unlocked! One man's trash is another man's nightmare. Sweet Jesus. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys are liking this, and I hope you guys have a great life. Better than how Punchy's doing right now in Hinamazawa. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye-bye. Ow.